What is the value of the expression 8 squared minus 5 minus 1 instead of parentheses, then multiply by 6 minus 1 instead of parentheses again? Which option do you think is the correct answer to this question? This expression is very deceptive and 99% of people get the wrong answer. Let's go through this question step by step and solve it together. And the first step to solve this question, many people usually go straight to the exponent and write the whole expression as 64 minus 5 minus 1 instead of parentheses, then multiply by 6 minus 1 instead of parentheses again. Then they go to the first parentheses and instead of this expression, they write 64 minus 4 multiplied by 6 minus 1 instead of parentheses. And the next step, they go for the subtraction between 64 and 4, which I have highlighted in yellow. And instead of this expression, they write 60 times 6 minus 1 instead of parentheses. And the final step, they simplify the expression instead of parentheses and replace it with 60 multiplied by 5, which gives them the answer 300. And immediately, they quickly say that the correct answer to this question is option D. However, this answer is absolutely wrong. Alright, now let's go step by step together and show you how to solve this expression properly. As you can see in the image and this expression, first we have an exponent, then a subtraction sign, after that we have a parenthesis, followed by a multiplication sign, and finally another parenthesis. To solve this question, we must strictly follow the PEMDAS row. And this row, P stands for parenthesis, E stands for exponent, M stands for multiplication, D stands for division, A stands for addition, and S stands for subtraction. We must perform all the operations in this expression exactly according to the PEMDAS row in order from top to bottom. So, we must start with the parenthesis first. Because according to the PEMDAS rule, parentheses have the highest priority compared to the other operations. Okay, instead of this expression, we can write 8 squared minus 4 multiplied by 5. And the next step, we need to go to the exponent. Because in the PEMDAS rule, after parentheses, exponent has the highest priority than the other operations. So, this expression simplifies to 64 minus 4 multiplied by 5. And the final step, it's time for the multiplication between 4 and 5 because multiplication has a higher priority than subtraction. So, we write this expression as 64 minus 20 which ultimately gives us the answer 44. That's great. Option C is the correct answer to this question. Alright, now let's solve another tricky math question together. What is the value of the expression 70 divided by 14 multiplied by open parentheses 80 divided by 16 close parentheses. Which option do you think is the correct answer to this question? Let's take a closer look and solve it together. Many people when starting to solve this question, first focus on the expression instead of parentheses. And instead of considering the whole expression, they rewrite it as 70 divided by 14 multiplied by 5. And the next step, they go for the multiplication between 14 and 5 because they believe multiplication has a higher priority than division. So, they simplify this expression and write it as 70 divided by 70, which finally gives them the answer 1. Then, without any hesitation, they conclude that the correct answer to this question must be option A. But, I have to say, we were tricked and it's not the correct answer to this question. Alright, now let me show you how to solve this expression properly. To solve this question, we need to follow the PEMDAS rule step by step. We must carry out these operations strictly in order from top to bottom. Okay, as you can see on the screen, and this expression, first we have a division sign, then a multiplication sign, and finally parentheses. According to the PEMDAS rule, we must start with the parentheses first, because parentheses have the highest priority compared to the other operations. So, we can write this expression as 70 divided by 14 multiplied by 5. Now, we need to perform the division and multiplication. However, it's very important to keep in mind that multiplication and division are on the same level of precedence. In this case, the best approach is to start from the left and carry out these two operations in order. So, first we handle the division between 70 and 14, which simplifies this expression to 5 multiplied by 5. And finally, the answer becomes 25. Therefore, 
Option C is the correct answer to this question.